So here we are today with my X22i incline trainer from Nautic Track. And we're actually doing an unboxing of my big baller brand replacement shoes. If you remember, I sent the other ones back because they were too small. And here they are, triple B's. Triple B's in a size 10 and a half. I'm going to try these on and I'm hoping that these will be the size. So just make sure they're 10 and a half. And they say, drum roll, 10 and a half. So I'll try these on and then we will talk about them, maybe even walk on them, on walk with them on my X22i. Big baller brand, John Carlos, 10 and a half shoes. So, both of them came with these type of inserts. And these are the big baller brand shoes that I remember. I'm going to be trying them on. I don't normally sit on my X22i, but for this, I'm sitting on my x 22 i and this will be proof whether or not they fit and as you can see they look like they're about the same size as these these are a size what size are these does it say anywhere no oh, maybe not hmm, that's interesting but these i think are 10. Now, I did notice one thing. There's like a little sticker on here. Maybe it's like a quality control or something. And it's already coming off. And it's not really part of the sneaker. So let me peel that off. No sticky residue. Let's leave it there for now. This one isn't on there. This is actually part of the part of the material. Like it's, I'm not sure what you call it. All right, here we go. One second. All right, so I got them on. So I must say these are extremely light. They're extremely comfortable. Um, like before, they come with the, the big ball of brand insignia all over the shoe. It's on the bottom. I believe it's on the side. Let's see. It's on the side, it's on the toe, I don't know if you can see it, and it's a pretty shoe. I like it because I can wear them to work, they're comfortable, they're extremely light. Now I know that there's been a lot in the news about the Big Baller brand and with Lonzo Ball not wearing them or, or whatever, they're saying that the Big Baller brand is finished. Well, I'm saying it isn't. I paid a little extra money for these because I had to send them back to get a bigger size. So they come a little tight, a little small. So these are 10 and a half, and I usually take about a 10. And I could tell you that these feel really good. So good that I'm gonna power up my, my Nordic Track X22i and go for a walk. And if uh, if I remember, I'll know whether or not privilege mode is enabled. Because if it's enabled, then it'll go straight to the desktop. If it's not enabled, then it'll go straight to the iFit app. That's a good way of knowing, since I've disabled the passwords, the security credentials. All right, here goes. And that was in one of the videos that I put out feels good. I'm obsessive compulsive, so shoes initially never feel good. I don't have a, a more comfortable shoe than this Nike, let's see, what is it? Nike Free RN Distance 2. These are probably the most comfortable, comfortable running shoes that I've ever had, but I can't wear those to work. I can wear these to work. And they're really comfortable. 
As you can tell, this thing is booting up <clears throat> and I don't see a desktop, which leads me to believe that I do not have privileged mode on, <clears throat> which is the way I want it. I'll only have privileged mode on if I know for a fact I'm going to use it or if my wife wants to use it. Actually, I take that back. I probably will have privilege mode on because this way my wife will have the opportunity of using it rather than her having to go through the 10 tap routine. All right, so I'll just do a little quick walk on these. They feel comfortable. <clears throat> Let's see if I have privilege mode on. According to this, I don't. Let's see. And I don't have privilege mode. And if you remember how to do it, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000, 7 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Privilege mode to true. Let's swipe up now and get to my desktop. <clears throat> and I've been meaning to watch something on, actually, you know what? I'll just do an iFit cardio because then uh, I can't get into any sort of uh, let me change, make sure I'm using the right name. I don't want to give my wife any any mileage. She's already way ahead of me. <clears throat> Steps for today, I only have 2,640. <clears throat> All right, cool. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. I did want to show you one thing while I'm here. If I go into here, and then I go into settings, and to go into Bluetooth, I believe, well, you know what? I'm, now I'm not sure, is iFit Bluetooth? You know what, come to think of it, I don't think it is, so. But my iFit monitor is, so that to use an iFit monitor, if I haven't shown you this before, you just press on this until it turns green or something, I think. Let's see, maybe you have to hold it down. It's been a while since I've used it. So it's just, you just press it. You press it and it starts uh, blinking. I don't know if you can tell the colors. <clears throat> it looks like it's blinking green and I'll know whether or not. So you don't wanna be here on Bluetooth. You wanna be actually back on iFit because this is an iFit wearable. And so it should automatically start registering as soon as I start something. So. I'm not doing a run, I'm doing a walk. It really doesn't matter if I'm doing a run or a walk. We'll do this. Still blinking. And uh, as soon as I start, I'll know whether or not. So here's the great part about uh, Nordic Track. You don't have to, you do, you can follow the, uh, <clears throat> the trainer, but you don't have to. The main purpose today is I just wanna walk on these new uh, big baller brand shoes see how they feel all right and as you can tell my heart rate monitor looks like it's taken so i guess if it turns green now before we start before we do anything at all let's take a look around take this in i am not sure of this incredible scenery uh, Look, it looks like we're inside of a painting. This place belongs into a painting. So, without further ado, let's fans. start with our three minute warm up walk. The third press go. of the fan now, puts it on high, and then walking, the fourth puts long. it on auto. I to exactly so, you notice there's walk. nothing here. If I lower this to two, in and out. Not take it's going to say follow the trainer, meaning place. I'm not this actually follow the training. I'm so not actually following the trainer. If I click on that, it will we follow the trainer according to speed and income. Coast of Portugal. So, so my main region, goal today was to run on these, right to actually walk on these the uh, incline right trainers. Right the I'm not really at a, at a point in Portugal. time in my life where and I could run on them yet. They feel it's comfortable, they feel light. I could see myself using these at work whenever the quarantine is the lifted. Right ahead of us, All right, 200 miles away. let's follow this guy so, here me, for a few minutes. Seconds in, bring your heels up to your butt. 
Well, I'm not bringing up my heels up. But this is pretty cool. There's a lot of glare. And the reason is because I have that window open. So let me go ahead and close the window so you can see what it's like. So we come out in a can. Oh, this is something new. Leaderboard. Oh, this is something I haven't used before. My wife was telling me about this. I guess it shows the leaderboard. Huh. I'm only 405th out of everybody that's used this so far. So at least I'm not last. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This must be a new software update. Got stats. Southwest the most point of the entire European continent. So we are Charts. on the edge of the continent. Now, while we're warming up, I'm gonna bring your incline hmm. up. And then I can do full screen. And we're gonna take everything one And I can get out of full screen. We're about two minutes in. Yes, it's pretty cool. Now I'm not sure why he's got <coughs> Looks like he's got my incline going up. Now here's the thing, I really don't know, well, oh yeah, it does show the incline. He's got me at a 15% incline. Whoa, this is actually quite hard. Whew. Yeah, this is uh, quite hard. So I'm bringing it back down to zero. Because again, I'm just doing this for a few minutes just to see how these big ball of brand shoes feel. All right, it's coming back down from 15. As you can tell, I'm way out of shape. My heart rate's at 133 beats per minute, and I'm just walking. That's terrible. I need to pick it up. What other? So my average heart rate is 116. Calories burned 18. That's nice. 241 calories per hour. And then again, my heart rate. And instead of recover with 90 seconds, oh, that's we're going to recover so, six minutes. Cool down jog. We're doing good. Let's go, guys. So what I love about this our run heart rate bike. monitor, it's a forearm yeah, heart rate speed. monitor. I, I think actually, it's called a heart sensor or something else. I, I have to look it up. But it's different than the chest strap. And I like it because you can just put it on your forearm. You don't have to grab these. Because grabbing these, even Nordic Track said that it wasn't very... Uh, very accurate. So having this on my arm is a great way of tracking my heart rate and I can keep it in a certain uh, range so that I know I'm doing uh, fat burning or I'm doing aerobic. Alright, look at that. I've moved up to 395. Let's see if I could pick it up a little bit. I'm going to actually try running. Even though I shouldn't, I'm probably going to hurt my knee. Let's try Running at five. All right. Excuse the uh, the camera. It's gonna be a little bumpy. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off and then see what happens if I run at five. My place looks like it's already going up. Be right back. Okay. So I ran for a little bit and what's going on? Oh, I think I hit a. I'll be right back. Of it. I accidentally hit the exposure. Minutes, we got four more to anyway, go. I'm at 372 and I'm going to be rising because so, now I'm walking. All right, right guys, yeah. I just really wanted to uh, walk four on these big ballers. As you can see, there's a lot of glare on this. Let's go ahead and hit pause and then uh, step off of these for a second, close these curtains. Uh, because uh, this works so much better when you have a, a room and you could tell the difference We're right away in the sprints. color. Much better. Another tempo run at six minutes. All right, guys. Into to recover. <laughs> Thanks for uh, following me. I'm not really sure what this video is about. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. But it'll probably have something to do with the big ball of brand shoes because I've been waiting so for these. Go five. I could say something about... Big baller, Nordic track, something to that effect. All right, guys. Hey, uh, you know what? Tonight's the uh, is the live stream. So hope to see you there. After five minutes, we're gonna go for six. Let me go ahead and stop this. Pause. Hit stop. <clears throat> wow, I'm just way out of shape. <clears throat> way, 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 way out of shape. I'm finished with this run. 
hit finish. <clears throat> I have to say this software is really amazing. It really is cool. It actually says that it completed, but I don't know how much I completed of it. You can go to the calendar and then on the calendar, you can now see that I did the workout today. There it is. I like that. It actually shows all my workouts. Obviously, I haven't been doing much. Overall, if you go to home, it actually shows uh, my distance. I guess, is it a weekly? Yeah, it's weekly stats. That's it. Ugh, terrible. All right. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I did want to show you this. It does show up, the iFit Arm HR heart rate monitor does show up. Now it says available devices, it's not paired. And the reason it's not paired is because this is the Bluetooth settings for the Samsung, I'm sorry, for the Android platform, the Android um, software. What we are uh, requiring is that anything that we wanna do pairs with the iFit software, which is totally different than this. So even though it says that, I'm not going to pair it because as you can tell, it works. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to unpair my phone as well because if I need it, I'll just pair it back up. Now I'll just say forget. And it'll be here as, a, as an available device. Okay. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to show you that. Let's see if it'll actually let me go back to iFit. Ah, huh? see, so sometimes iFit just comes right back up. Sometimes it kind of uh, acts a little funny and you have to, it, it restarts. But regardless, it doesn't mess with your stats. It should keep all your stats and, and the machine actually keeps running. All right, that's pretty cool. It'd be nice if there was a way I can tell my heart rate <clears throat> from here without actually working or doing something. But I don't see anything here so all right now actually I guess I guess I can do a manual start <clears throat> if I do a manual start then wouldn't that give me the heart rate yeah okay it would be nice if um, then again why would I need these stats if I wasn't actually using the treadmill so that makes sense all right then see you guys later I'm going to add uh, a little clip at the end of this video because this was something that I've been thinking about. So, you know, with all the quarantine and everything and the COVID-19 happening, a lot of us are working from home. And it'd be nice if you know, um, we had one of those expensive uh, treadmill desks. Well, you know what? If you've got a Nordic Trek incline trainer treadmill with a console, then in essence, you do have a treadmill desk. I can show you that. I actually uh, put a bookmark in here. You know what, I've never used it with Chrome. I'll just use it with, with the browser. I'll have to check that later. Yes, I actually installed Chrome, just in case. <clears throat> I tried installing Firefox, it didn't work. All right then, so I'm on uh, a Skillsoft uh, Percipio type of uh, learning website. It, um, it was provided, it actually is supposed to be provided by my job, but uh, they're looking into it. For now, I have a trial period. What's really great is you can actually give yourself a 60-day trial period to this Skillsoft. Can you believe that? Let me actually show you where it's at. Let me get rid of this. If you Google, isn't this great, having a browser on your treadmill? Wait a minute. You know what? I should be walking. Shouldn't I? Now you see, the iFit app did not come back up. It's just, uh, it's playing funny right now. So, give it a second. I'm actually not going to, yeah, actually I'm gonna just hit pause, be right back. Okay, I'm back, let me start a manual run or a manual walk. So we were talking about having a treadmill desk. If you have a Nordic Track machine at the house, I'm talking about treadmills now. Then you, in essence, have a treadmill desk because you can, if you have some work you're doing, I'll go ahead and 
do this at two miles an hour. Swipe up. Come back here. Actually. Actually, I don't even want that because I think I already have it open. Let me see. Let me see what windows I have open already. So I do have a browser already open. And what I wanted to show you was if you go to Google and you type in uh, let me hold on to the side for now. You type in um, skill soft Percipio student offer. So there's actually two different offers. If you go to Percipio Percipio uh, Skillsoft, these are some learning, and it gives you a little video on learning. Brand new cloud-based content delivery and learning platform. Yeah, we don't want that. Percipio. Perc Percipio is just a um, is an interface that Skillsoft uses. Skillsoft, you probably have heard before, and if you haven't, it's got tons of web-based training. But this is not what I wanted. I wanted the trial offer. I wanted, uh, let me go back here and see if this is it. There was a Skillsoft um, trial offer, and I'm not sure where that is. Give me a second and I'll find it. All right, here we go. So if you're interested, there's a special offer for remote workers. 60 days of complimentary access to Skillsoft. And I'm telling you, it's got some great, great um, web-based training here. It's got books, like books 24-7. It's got courses. It's got badges you can earn. I don't think there's any certificate-based training here. But it actually has courses that are designed to maybe get you a, a, a certification in, in some IT program. It also has a lot of project management courses and some other uh, uh, self-improvement courses. But here's the URL if you're interested. It's http colon forward slash forward slash learn dot skillsoft dot com forward slash business dash continuity dash trial dot html and if you want you can just hit pause and try it out and that's 60 days of complimentary access to a really really great uh, web-based training now I'll do you one I'll do you one even better than this if you're a student and basically, uh, you, I think you, in order uh, to get this access, you can get 90 days of complimentary access. The only difference here is the, uh, it's HTTP colon forward forward slash, it's learn.skillsoft.com forward slash business dash continuity, and it says dash edu dash trial dot HTML. So there's a different URL, and for this, you just have to provide them with a dot edu um, email address, or something saying that you uh, uh, that, that you can prove that you're a student or currently taking classes, and then you'll have 90 days of complimentary access. That's three months while you're um, holed up in your house. That's three months of training, and at the very least, you can do 60 days. All right. So I just wanted to show you that really quick. Now back to my student. Let me go ahead and log on. I'll be right back. Okay, here I am at my digital desk. They've got something called digital badges. And I'm logged in, and I'm going to resume learning. Uh, I think I was using a different, but I'm going to be looking for some Microsoft. So I'm going to be looking for, uh, let's see, Microsoft. I think it was Windows 10. Let's try that. I actually have a link. I just don't want to go back to my desk, my real desk. And it's a course not using task. I, is it Windows 10 deployment? Uh, you know what? But regardless, as you can tell, I mean, look, you've got over 3,470 videos on Microsoft. Isn't that amazing? You want to learn more about Win 10? You want to learn more about maybe Windows Server 2000? Uh, let's go back. Oh, I did it again. 
not used to this desk. If you want to learn about Windows Server uh, 2016, which is a uh, something that most of us, if we're in the computer uh, arena, we know about. They've got a whole bunch of labs. I mean, look, over 2,000 videos, three test preps. I mean, this is amazing, guys. This alone is worth watching my video and giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. Because if I can, I'll bring you stuff like this. All right, then. So um, let, me head and, let me go ahead and actually uh, get out of here. And I will um, talk to you guys later. If you find any of this information useful, then go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe so that you'll be notified when I post more content. I appreciate all your support, and as always, if you have any questions, leave comments below and I'll try to get back with you.